Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. <clears throat> this is um, another of my short, short stories from my newest book, Little Doggy Stories. Um, this will be in the next printing, which will be out in a day or two. This is called My Last Dog. It's so painful seeing your dog die. It was the worst with my most recent sweetie, Donut. Maybe that was because my death is next on the conveyor belt. You see, I'm 85. And even after my knee replacement, I can't walk well, and being sedentary is bad. My wife's have become shorter, less frequent. My age, my knees, and now, no further need to walk a dog. So I decided that doggy, that donut, was my last doggy. <clears throat> but I was lonely. It got to where my social life consisted mainly of saying hi to the Amazon delivery guy. So I thought, what could it hurt to look? So I went to the pound. Oh, the barking and the yelping. It was easy for me to pass all the pit bulls and chihuahuas, <clears throat> the pound's predominant residence. But then there was this little poodly thing who, when I stopped to peek, leapt onto the front of the cage, whined, and wagged her tail. When I looked more closely, I saw that she was missing a leg. I could see why such a sweetie wouldn't be very adoptable. I could picture her getting her getting euthanized, and I just couldn't let that happen. Besides, with three legs, we'd be compatible. We'd both limp. I thought about naming it Muffin, slightly healthier in name at least than Donut, but because of the three legs, I chose Trio. Indeed, we enjoyed our limpy walks until I tripped on a raised sidewalk, re-injuring my knee. My limp has become a crawl, and even three-legged Trio pulled me to go faster. So I asked my 12-year-old neighbor, Bookish Lenny, if he would walk him, walk her, once a day. Lenny would, twice, three times a day, knock on my door asking if Trio wanted a walk. I realized I was selfish in keeping Trio, so I offered him to Lenny, and he and his parents happily agreed. I asked only for visitation rights. I'm kind of proud of myself. It seems like part of graceful aging. Anyway, that story is called My Last Dog. As usual, I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. And certainly would welcome you taking a look at any of my 31 books, including that most recent one, Little Doggy Stories. They're all on Amazon. Just go there and search on my name, Marty Nemko, N-E-M-K-O. And you will find more than you can stomach. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemko.